Okay, what I'm going to do is attempt to see if we can charge a 36 volt golf cart with the homemade solar panel I just made. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't hooked anything up yet to see how it'll work, but let's give it a shot and see what happens. Okay, over here we have. Okay, over here we have side view, and I have the solar panel connected right now, and it's producing 16.95 uh, volts, 16, 17 volts, there you go, the sun's coming back out. Okay, it's, it doesn't produce a tremendous amount because remember, I was shy four, four cells. So anyway, I'm going to get over here. our solar panel leads ready to go and let's see right now let's see we're gonna go here and here oh we're in the negative here to here okay wow we're, uh, we're already looking pretty good as far as voltage is concerned Okay, we see the in is here, that's the first lead, and the last lead is there. So here to here, we have overload. Okay, so here, try to put that so you can see it, got about 35 volts. Okay, here to here we have, I believe it was around here, maybe we can both see it. 12.47. Alright, so what I want to do is see if stick that there and we stick this here. 12.47. 12.41. Okay. Because we know that uh, it's not showing negative, now, let me show you that real quick. I'm sure you guys already know this, but you go here to here, and you're showing negative. So here to here, it's showing polarity is right, black to red, or black to black, and red to red. So here's our positive. We're going to connect that here. And we're going to first of all, okay, let's see if we get any increase on that 12.48 when I connect this. Went from 12.48 to 12.51 because we're pumping. So we are definitely charging those batteries. Okay. Let's see if I can make sure you guys can see that from that angle. Okay, I know you can see the meter now. Okay, so the only other test I want to do, 12.54, it's disconnected and it drops. Okay, still don't know the current because I'm waiting for my fuse to come in. Alright, now what I want to do is uh, I want to see if this voltage from these batteries will then trickle into the other batteries and I don't think it will unless we have a complete circuit because right now it's open-ended on on one end so we'd have to charge these two these two 
than those two. But uh, sticking that back there again, and here, 12.55. Now let me take this off. So we're at 12.53. Now let me go to. This will be a good indicator if we're getting any bleed over. So right, 6.08. So I'm going to reconnect this. Make sure we're getting some. Okay. 6.08 is what this was. It's still 6.08. So there's the answer. I've seen a lot of questions on, on uh, uh, the internet as to if you could charge 36 volts with 12 volts. I'm here to tell you you can do it if you connect two at a time and charge them that way. Now I suppose you could connect these two and then jump it to the next two and jump it to the next two. But uh, 36 volts at this time, this kind of amperage is really nothing to try to be jumping around a bunch of wires. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase a small, a bunch of smaller cells, and I'm going to go ahead and build me one 36 volt panel similar to the one I got here. Um, those were built with uh, three by six cells. If I've got my hands on a pile of, uh, well, you know what, I'm, I, oh, like one by sixes, I could lay them in there and uh, and uh, I could make that panel a 12, 24, 36, whatever volt I wanted to just by wiring it externally in different configurations. So that's probably what I'm going to do at some point. And, uh, Can buy you can buy solar panels for the top of these things but they're you know well over a thousand bucks you can build one for a couple hundred less than a hundred if you're really thrifty about it so anyway this is a test that I've been wanting to do and these batteries are a little on the low side and go ahead and get them pumped up anyway all right thanks for watching